I mean, as far as feel, I mean, I would say just knowing that we're going into a, a packed stadium. Um, and then, you know, just how fast it seemed it turned around. It seemed like last year it was just with COVID and everything was so slow. And this year it's like, you know, we, we're getting ready to play. So. When you think uh, you get out there and start playing on Sunday, what will fans see uh, that's different from you in terms of you know, having a full year under your belt this time around? Um, I want to say, I mean, I feel like I'm a totally different person. So just going to see a different player, different, you know, attitude. I'm at, I'll be out there having fun for sure. So uh, I'm sure it'll be, you know, they'll see, they'll see something different for sure. What's the biggest difference? Uh, I would say my mental, just everything like that, just really like, not necessarily like dealing with everything, but looking looking at the good and everything as well. Going into the game, the first game last year, I think you were coming off your shoulder injury. Right. That's correct. I mean, I'm sure that was probably still bothering you. No, nah, it wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I came back. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, right, remember, if you remember, I wasn't supposed to play. Right, right. So even if it wasn't bothering you, like mm -hmm. how much different do you feel this year? I mean, you know, health-wise and everything going into the season, how much has that helped your confidence? Um, I'm stronger, and, you know, I feel like, I mean, just getting my body, like, in actual great condition. Like, because I've always felt, like, good, but now I've got a routine. Like, I've learned, you know, certain things. Through learning from the older players and also asking questions. Like, now, like, I still talk to DJ. I still talk to, you know, the guys I was around just to get tips because it's a reason why they, they've been around for so long. How did you arrive at a place where you feel like you're a – a different person is there I don't know, like a, any kind of breakthrough moment for you or, or just where did that where did that come from how did it happen um, ultimately it's just knowing that you know I play like football is my job so like this is something that it's millions and millions of people in the world that wish they could do as a job so that's why I said when it go, goes back to looking at the good and things like I mean no matter how bad it, bad it gets I play football like this is a this is a kid this is a child's like this is a, a game I grew up playing as a child and now I do it professionally as a job so just you know being happy having fun and you know just being grateful to be here so on a, on a daily basis how does that come through or are you you know are, are you friendlier are you more talkative or what's not nah, me at the end yeah. of the day but it's just like I don't let things bother me no more like at the end of the day like I look at it so like I look back when I was in college it was certain things like it was always like it was always good talk and then it was bad talk but I didn't really pay attention to it because I really went into it. And then being a professional, you kind of, like, I was young, so I learned, I, like, started paying attention to everything, which now I don't. Like, I really don't. I really don't care for it. So it just keeps me in a good mental state. And then I understand, like I said, learning from the older players as well. Jalen, is there something to the chemistry of growing together, you and Jalen? Mm -hmm. uh, Quez Watkins come with the same draft class. Devontae's a rookie. So you guys, in theory, have a chance to grow together right. in the years coming forward. Is that... Is there something to that? Um, I would say just us, you know, we making it, we challenge each other every day. So when it, it comes to anything, so we're we not letting nobody in our receiver room slack or take a day off and, you know, be complacent. And, you know, y'all know how Jalen is. He, you know, he'll, he'll ask us questions just walking throughout the building. So, I mean, it's just us, you know, holding each other accountable and that accountability factor, you know, as well, like his coach holding us accountable and everything. So it just brings us closer. To not pay attention to anything, did you have? Did you have to get rid of your social media no. accounts? No, I personally didn't do that, but I just, I just don't like if it if it's not if it's not good, I don't pay attention to it. And then I mean, I heard Coach showed us uh, about Nick Saban saying how everyone tells Alabama how good they are, and it's kind of it's rat poison. So whether it's good or bad, I don't pay attention to it. So, so if you just, if you, like if you're scrolling down Twitter or your Instagram or something like that, and there's a negative comment towards you, how do you how do you handle it? I don't look at you, it. Like, I don't even, like, I don't, okay, let me put it like this. Like, last year, it was easy to see negative comments, and it was easy to see good comments. But, like, now it's, like, it's kind of a happy medium. Like, I don't really worry about either because I know both are going to come regardless. So, I mean. So, after you made those catches in camp and stuff like that. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. But you tweeted out a few few of them, right? Yeah, yeah I just, I, re, I retweet them because, it's of course, it's the Eagles, and, you know, it's it's ultimately it's fans out there that want to see those things, and then you know I got two little brothers and one little sister, so I'm somebody's hero. So I got to make sure that they see those things, those memories. But I don't look for pats on the back from nobody now. So is it fair to say you don't search your name? You don't. You I never don't... did that anyway. Okay, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, That's long, guys. We got... What's Greg Ward's influence like on the wide receiver room now that he's uh, kind of like the senior member of the? Oh, uh, that's big, bro. I mean, he he always. I mean, from the time I got here, like it'll be times we'll be on the field last year and. You know, maybe it was confusing. He'll he'll let us know what we got or 
he he he's he's like a big motivator. And that's where I get my, my positive attitude from as well, because he he's always got a positive attitude. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, that's just somebody that, you know, you want to stay close to because he's a he's a genuinely good person, you know, beyond the football field. Yeah.